Many in agriculture know someone whose life has been affected by a farm-related injury or death. That's why the Progressive Ag Foundation is on a mission to bring safety information to farming communities. Joining us now is Progressive Agriculture Foundation Interim Chief Executive Officer, Brian Cole. Thanks so much for joining us, Brian. And tell us about Progressive Agriculture's Safety Day. Well, thanks for having me. Uh, a Progressive Agriculture Safety Day is a one-day event that's designed to teach elementary school age children lessons to help keep them and those around them safe on their farms or in their rural communities. At the Safety Day event, we divide the kids up into small groups and they rotate between stations where safety topics are not only taught, but the kids get a chance to participate in age-appropriate, fun, hands-on activities to engage them in the learning process. This year at the Progressive Agriculture Foundation, we look to support over 400 Progressive Ag Safety Days across North America, and those Safety Day events will reach over 100,000 individuals. Okay, we'll talk about some of the important and popular topics that are taught at the Progressive Agriculture Safety Day. Sure, let me touch on uh, maybe three of our more popular topics. Uh, we'll start with fire safety and fire prevention. At a majority of our Progressive Egg Safety Days, local fire departments will partner with other volunteers to teach the kids an array of fire safety related topics. For example, fire department may take the kids into a room or a specially designed house and talk to them about the importance of having an escape plan and a family meeting place in the event that there is a fire or that their smoke detectors or their carbon monoxide detectors go off. Then the fire department may fill the room with theater smoke so the kids can see how smoke rises to the ceiling and that the best way to evacuate the room is by staying close to the floor. Firefighters may also come into that room in full turnout gear wearing breathing apparatus so the kids can see, hear, and experience how that firefighter may look or sound in that environment. Another popular topic is ATV safety. Each year in the United States, about 40,000 kids under the age of 16 are treated in emergency rooms for ATV-related injuries. At the Progressive Egg Safety Days, we not only talk about the types of ATVs found on the farm, but more importantly that many of these ATVs are much too large in both engine size and overall weight for a child under the age of 14 or even under the age of 16 to operate safely. So we attempt to have actual ATVs at the event so the kids can sit on them and better understand why these machines are too big and also identify what size machines are better suited for them. The third topic I'll touch on is, is chemical safety. And we have an activity which actually is quite fun for the kids and it challenges them to identify chemicals that are in unmarked containers from similarly looking food or beverages. So for example, identifying window cleaner from a sports drink or garden fertilizer from a similarly looking candy. More recently, we've been talking about and stressing why kids should not be partaking in some of these social media challenges that have become popular, where kids are placing detergent pods or tablets in their mouths, and what that can do to their bodies and the impact that can have, as well as what they should do if they do actually participate and ingest one of these chemicals, mm. how they can call 911 and find out more about how that actually may hurt their body. And you can visit progressiveag.org for more information. It's great how you're reaching these young people while they're still young to really instill this message in them. Appreciate your time. Progressive Ag Foundation Interim Chief Executive Officer Brian Cool. thanks for joining us.